frequency is inversely proportional to wavelength that is however frequency acts correct opposite to that the wavelength acts sky wave is the one which acts between the ionosphere as well as earth and ground wave is the one which acts on the below surface long term exposure of any of the electromagnetic spectrum is very very harmful a human body radar is a one which is used in order to measure the depth of any of the object which lies in certain depth may be under a sea hello everyone i am rinda faculty of physics from vidyashram pri university college mysuru welcoming you all to session 2 of chapter 8 electromagnetic waves so today in this chapter let us study in detail about the electromagnetic spectrum in our last class we had discussed about the displacement current and why that displacement current was introduced by james clerk maxwell in today's class by introduction of that displacement current there was the spectrum that is the electromagnetic spectrum which was introduced which was existed that is there was existence of that electromagnetic spectrum and how many types are there that is radio waves microwaves infrared rays visible rays and ultraviolet rays as well as x rays and gamma rays by using a trick that is by using a short method that is known as rich man in victoria used extra gold coins okay so that is the technique for you to remember the sequence of the electromagnetic spectrum so here for the sequence of the electromagnetic spectrum we have got r m i rich man in victoria used extra gold coin so this is the sequence of the electromagnetic spectrum which you can see over here so why this radiation was used the radiations were used to study the big bang theory as well as the stars and the sun the stars in that the sun is known as the natural microwave source okay so here you have got visible and invisible light that is the complete sequence which is given over here out of which the visible spectrum lies in between this part which shows this colors and these colors are called as web gear so you have these sequence of colors that is the rainbow colors which is obtained in only visible light which is visible to our human eyes the rest of the things are considered to be invisible but it is sensed okay so coming to the frequency range of radio waves next sequence is microwaves so infrared that is a wave and radio waves microwaves infrared rich man in victoria visible light ultraviolet light and finally it is x rays and gamma rays so here you have the frequency range of all these things so down the table the frequency increases but its wavelength decreases because we are have a formula nu is equal to inverse of lambda because of this formula where nu such is the frequency and lambda is nothing but the wavelength so frequency and wavelength how is its relationship frequency is inversely proportional to wavelength that is however frequency acts correct opposite to that the wavelength acts that is higher the frequency lower the wavelength okay so this is the table of frequency range wherein i am considering the frequency in a increasing order so it starts from radio waves so we have radio waves are the one which is so it lies like lesser than 3 into 10 to the power of 9 hertz 
and it starts from microwaves. So write the same number here. Starts from 3 into 10 raised to 9 hertz. Up till where? Up till 3 into 10 to the power of add plus 2 to this. So you have 10 to the power of 11 hertz. Write the same here that is 3 into 10 to the power of 11 hertz to till where it is plus 3 here. So it can be written as 4 into 10 to the power of 14 hertz. Write the ending term here that is visible light is from 4 into 10 to the power of 14 hertz to up till where it is. It is like you have 3 plus 4 it is 7 so something comes in 7.5 range into 10 raised to 14 hertz. Next 7.5 into 10 raised to 14 hertz is written over here. From here it will just shift to that is correct half it is. How we have started here the same way it has to go here 7 into 10 raised to 14 you have to add plus 2 to this because I have added plus 2 there. I'll just get back to this. It will be 3 into 10 raised to 14 plus 2. It is 16 hertz. Again 3 into 10 raised to 16 hertz. Till add plus 3 to this you have 3 into 10 to the power of 19 hertz. And this gamma rays it is greater than 3 into 10 raised to 90 hertz that is the frequency range and you will get to know the frequency range with a certain trick which I'll be explaining you right now. The trick is explained here and remember students in order to remember the frequency range with the help of a trick you will have to remember the sequence that is radio waves, microwaves, infrared rays etc. So please don't mismatch the sequence so that if you mismatch these things, these trick of yours will just vanish off wherein you will not be able to answer properly about the frequency range of certain waves. So coming to the trick or the logic in order to understand this frequency range, let us just opt for a color now that will be a blue color wherein here I will be representing 9, 3 into 10 raised to 9. Okay, everything that is a main number is, I'll tell you, almost the same. Main numbers, you can just think of it. You can just remember the main, main sequence that is 3 here, 3 there, 3 here, 4 here, 3 plus 4. 3 plus 4 is 7. So, 7 it has come here. So, something comes in the 7.5 range. Again, it is same. The ending term is being mentioned over here and now again everything comes back to 3 range itself. So, that is how you remember. Now coming to the powers, the powers are only the ones which changes. So power remember, it's 3 into 10 raised to 9 is the maximum in the radio waves. And after that you will be adding plus 2 to this, 9 plus 2, it is 11. Again here you had it plus 2, so you will add, add plus 3 here. So 9 plus 2, 11, 11 plus 3, it is 14. First that is in the second line in the microwave line you are adding plus 2 and in the second bottom line you are adding plus 3 and 3 plus 4 it is 7. So you have got 7.5 range into 10 raised to the same sequence, the same power so nothing to worry here. So why did I draw a line here? Line represents that the same sequence is repeated over here for the powers that is 14, 14 plus 2 it is 16, again 16 plus 3 it is 19, 19 is the maximum one. So this is how you remember and this stays only if you remember these sequences, okay. So coming to the next wave that is let us start with the radio waves. So what is meant by a radio waves? Radio waves is the one which is having frequency less than 3 into 10 raised to 9 hertz as we had discussed earlier. So these waves are very much helpful for the communication and here we have radio waves are the waves which are having longest wavelength, shortest frequency and longest wavelength. Shortest frequency means less than 3 into 10 raised to 9 hertz. So 
If the frequency is less, I told you it acts opposite, that the wavelength acts opposite. That means the wavelengths are longer because of which our radio stations and all uses these radio waves. Because it has got long wavelength and it reaches miles together. Okay, so here you have a tower which produces, that is, this is a transmitter and there we have a receiver. By looking at that, you will get to know that radio waves are used in communication purposes. So, it has got a longest wavelength in the electromagnetic spectrum and it is the very first mentioned waves in the spectrum. So, radio waves can be given in two types, that is, it can be transmitted in two forms, that is, your ground wave as well as a sky wave. So, ground wave travels in this atmosphere, this is known as a ground wave, and sky wave transfer you have got in the earth, troposphere, stratosphere, ionosphere, mesosphere, and you're having too many atmospheric layers above the earth, okay? So, the sky wave, that is, the waves which are transmitted goes and pitches to ionosphere, sphere and this acts, that is a skyway is the one which acts between the ionosphere as well as earth. So, the maximum range to where the radio waves can reach the earth's atmosphere will be ionosphere. From the transmitter, it moves to the ionosphere and gets back to the receiving antenna. So, here in the radio waves, you have got two types, that is one is ground wave, another one is sky wave and sky wave is the one which acts between the ionosphere as well as earth and ground wave is the one which acts on the below surface, okay? So, this is the transmitting antenna and this is the receiving one. For example, they have given, okay? So, what are radio waves which are used in the communication purpose? That is the well-known use of this radio waves. Coming to microwaves, rich, rich is over, rich means radio waves. Now, man for microwaves and whose range is 3 into 10 raised to 9 hertz up till 3 into 10 to the power of 11 hertz is its range because we are adding plus 2 to this. So, this is the hertz means it is the SI unit of frequency. SI unit of frequency is said to be hertz. So, we are checking out for the frequency. So, I hope this image is all very clear to you because each and everyone has got this microwave oven at their homes. Why is that? In order to easy, in order to make your work easier, that is by cooking. Cooking instead of standing in right in front of stuff and waiting for it to get cooked or something. Here we have the one which is designed in order to help our daily needs. That is, we just opt for a microwave oven where you can just place your food and then you can alter the timing, set the timing, set the temperature and leave it as it is and your food gets cooked. Correct? So, here you have got a microwave oven exactly from which, so this is a schematic diagram of an oven. So, from where exactly your radiation is passing and that is from the magnetron tube. This has got the source of radiation which lies towards your right hand side. From there the radiations are being sent. Due to that radiation, here our food gets cooked. So, here you can see a tasty burger wherein the microwave radiation are sent through these waves. The wavy motion resembles that it is microwave radiation which is useful in order to cook the food, okay? But these microwave radiations, too much of intake of this radiation is very harmful. So, remember students, the too much of intake of any of the radiation long-term exposure of any of the electromagnetic spectrum is very, very harmful to a human body. Clear? So, here, now we have about microwaves. The cosmic microwave background radiation is a natural source of microwave. These microwave ovens and all are the man-made microwaves, but here the natural source is from the cosmic background radiation, which occurs from sun as well as the stars, okay, sun-like stars. And here you can see these are the source of microwaves and microwaves are the ones which can be captured by the moisture droplets, okay? The moisture, what, what does the moisture do? The important topic what you have to do, the important note what you have to 
no is the moisture content absorbs the microwave radiation the similar mechanism is undergone in microwave ovens as well the moisture content of the food absorbs the microwave radiations because of which the food gets cooked okay and next is phenomena called as rain fade occurs at high end of the microwave band that is a rain fade you will get to know in the next slide what is called as a rain fade concept it occurs at the high end of the microwave band okay and it is used in communication including digital and analog voice data and video transmissions okay so that is like communication purpose so microwave it is also used in radar so what is meant by a radar radar means r a d a r and its abbreviation this is called as abbreviation that is this is just a short form of it wherein its explanation is r a is here d is here and a is here radar okay this is radar radio detection and ranging radar is a one which is used in order to measure the depth of any of the object which lies in certain depth maybe under a sea or in the ground okay so radar is a concept where we will use to see the depth either at the bottom of the sea or in the ground or sky levels so whereas these uh, sonars radars are same as that of sonars wherein sonars are the one which uses sound waves than the radio waves in order to detect both are having one and the same use but radar uses radio waves for detection and sonar uses sound waves for detection that is all about the difference so it is used in weather tracking at air traffic control and radar speed guns as well so next is man made source of microwave include microwave ovens maser which acts like a lasers and circuits and communication transmission towers and radar as well okay so these are the uses of the microwaves so now we are having microwaves i told about the concept called as a rain fade rain fade in the sense this one so once you can see the microwaves are sent and it it is getting faded up that is it is getting absorbed by the particles which is present over there rain fade okay it's getting faded up the wave frequency gets fade up by this concept that is that concept is called as a rain fade concept of the microwave we are done with rich for radio waves man for microwaves in for infrared rays so we are talking about infrared rays so this person whose name was he was a british astronomer naming sir william herschel he was the one who introduced this concept called as infrared rays how is that he was an astronomer he just absorbed the sun there are few layers of the sun like protosphere corona and all these are the layers of the sun and each layers of the sun are having certain color combinations okay and that color resembles the temperature which was identified by sir william herschel by looking at the color itself people can predict the temperature the so color is yellow like that of a star called as betelgeuse that means its temperature is very low okay its temperature is less that happens in the outer layer of the sun outer layer of the sun the temperature is mild can manage it but we can't manage it is mild when compared to that of the inner part that is the core part of the sun okay and if suppose the sun had too much of temperature of certain degree kelvin or in the celsius scale if suppose you consider a star which is of blue in color and that is a regal star which is familiar for each and every one okay that regal has got its temperature more than that of the temperature which yellow color has yellow color means it's a less temperature whereas blue color means it's high temperature so that it's very easy for you to predict the temperature of a candle light you have got the layers of color that is the tip will be blue color and then it is yellow shades okay so which part of the candle is very hot that is the blue color that blue part of the candle light is very hot than that of the orange or yellow color okay that is all about this william herschel how he identified the infrared rays infrared rays now it gives the temperature of any of the object so it's like you can see photo frame if you just take a photocopy of it it's a negative copy it gives certain color combination of a human head eye place it will be a little dark and nose part it will be red or blue in color any earth 
if you just find out the geographic channel or somewhere you can just see the earth and the earth's color combination will be given in red orange and all all those are infrared ray. by the use of infrared we will get to know the temperature condition of certain places or certain objects anything it can be so that is the use of infrared rays so let us see Infrared waves are longer than the visible light and shorter than that of the microwaves and radio waves. Infrared is invisible to a human eye but it can be sensed. Where exactly you can sense the infrared? There are types of infrared that is near infrared, mid infrared as well as the far infrared. And infrared can be either polarized that is the optical effects are seen in this infrared lights. How is it? So now where we can see this infrared in our daily life that is in the tv remotes tv remotes at its tip it has got certain infrared connection that is through the led through led this infrared waves are sent towards the television so that the tv gets on okay can you see the waves when moving from transmitter to receiver no we can never see the waves that is invisible to our eyes but it can be felt okay and longer range of this infrared is sensed as heat in the form of heat. So infrared light is used for wired and wireless communication, wireless operations, remote controls that is remote controls used near infrared light. It is used in home entertainment through LED as I told you remote has got certain LED part from where the infrared rays are sent and it is used in fiber optic cables or to transmit data. This part here you have you can see and this is nothing but the infrared radiations which is passing over it. Then next we have visible light. So we are done with rich for radio waves, man for microwaves, in for infrared rays and Victoria for visible light. What is meant by visible? Visible means the one which we can see or visualize things by our God gift eyes. Clear? So here it is a segment of the electromagnetic radiations. So you have got the complete set radio waves, microwaves, infrared, visible, ultra, x-ray and gamma. These are the sequence. Okay. Between that of ultra waves and infrared, there lies a spectrum and that spectrum consists of seven colors which is visible to our eyes. That is a white light. So we can see a white light and white light is the combination of seven colors which is called as a web gear. So which helps us to visualize things. I can see each and everything which is around me. I can see this uh, mountains, butterflies, balloons and a bird and all these. So my eyes can visualize something that is with the help of a visible light. So sun will be the main source of the visible light because of which the rays goes and hits towards any object and through which we can see by our eyes. Okay. So here it is a segment of electromagnetic spectrum and the human eye can view. Okay. Segment of electromagnetic spectrum that the human eye can view is said to be the visible light. And now the human eye can detect wavelengths from 380 to 700 nanometers. You will have to have a note on this wavelength. The visible light ranges from 380 to 700 nanometers because of which we can see the beautiful beautiful places areas peoples and each and everything which is surrounding us so we are very lucky to have this beautiful eyes as well as the surroundings okay so next here its visible light is a range of electromagnetic waves that human eyes can see and anything that glows or gives gives off the light makes waves that we call it as visible light. So there is a wavy nature that is we get the wave into our eyes because of which we can visualize things. So sunlight, sun, light bulbs, candles, fire are the things that people automatically think of when we just remember that it all about the visible light. Okay. So here it includes some other sources other than the natural source sunlight. Other sources are computer screens, glow sticks and fireworks are the one which gives the light. Next visible light comes in all colors of the rainbow. Each color has its own special frequency and wavelength. Red, violet, indigo. It's like web gear which are the colors it has got. Okay. So here you have got web gears and each has got different 
frequency as well as wavelength frequency as well as wavelength both are different in all the colors and together it makes a white light which you can identify with the help of a prism by passing white light through the prism it disperses there undergoes dispersion of all vibcure colors and now coming to extremely important uses of this visible light that is to see it is used to see without light eyes wouldn't be able to see any of the things which is surrounding us okay aside from the sight there are other important uses of this visible light that we concentrate visible light to make lasers and in everything like it is used in surgeries it is used in cd players to laser points and visible light waves also make our tv computers and phone screen work okay so these are the uses of the visible light next our question is is visible light harmful or harmless so is it dangerous yes of course visible light is also dangerous why because too much of exposure to visible light that is computer screens or anything it can be it affects our eyes wherein a people or a human can undergo human or any other living beings can undergo either permanent or as a temporary blindness okay that is a universal term what we know that is continuous or longer exposure to visible light through computer screens phones etc we will lose our sight so that is all about your visible light next coming to ultraviolet rays so what is this ultraviolet rays what is its source ultraviolet rays are the rays which are obtained by the help of a sun sun produces ultraviolet rays and the 10% of the sun's rays or the sun's heat which what whichever enters into earth it consists of ultraviolet rays and only one third of the ultraviolet rays is entering into the earth okay only one third of the ultraviolet rays there are three types of ultraviolet rays uva rays uvb rays and uvc rays a b c concept okay uva rays are the one which is very harmful and it affects in skin aging okay uvb rays b means burning that means skin burning occurs through with the help of this uvb rays okay and uvc rays that does not enter into the atmosphere because of the layers which covers the earth let us neglect uvc rays the only thing what we have is uva rays as well as uv b rays correct okay so these radiations enter into the earth and these radiation how does it affect the body so uva rays a little bit of uva rays are the one which is helpful in order to kill some bacteria that is a short term exposure of uva rays longer term of uva rays what happens suppose if you take an example of skin our skin when the sun rays falls on our skin we get that sun tanning correct why is that tanning introduced sun tanning in the sense we have got a cells called as melanocytes we have got certain cells in our body called as melanocytes and these melanocytes are the cells which give out a pigment called as melanin melanocytes give a pigment called as melanin which is our skin pigment okay suppose if there is a sun's rays which falls on the skin a body gets heated up it, it doesn't start burning it gets heated up due to that heat these melanocyte cells will trigger itself saying that oh the body is getting heated up i'll have to rescue this body or else this body might get damaged the cells might get damaged so what happens to the melanocytes these starts producing a pigment that is melanin pigment and the melanin pigment will spread over the area okay because of which that pigment due to the absorption of heat it turns into black color that is you are getting tanned tanning is nothing but it's not that your skin is getting spoiled tanning is nothing but your skin cells might be destroyed because of which your skin is getting tanned and that is not like your skin is getting spoiled okay melanin is the one of the most important pigment in our body in order to rescue the destruction of the skin cells okay so that is how this melanin acts more and more number of uv radiations when it falls on our body 
it leads to a skin cancer called as melanoma okay so that is all about the harmful thing into our body as well as any of the living tissues clear so that is all about the damaging property of uv radiations so what are its uses is it the only one which its occurrence damages the existence no nothing like that uv radiations are very useful in order to kill the bacteria it is also useful in sterilization of medical instrument it is used in phototherapy and sun tanning as well as fingerprint techniques and forensic departments as well as preservation of food items and it creates a fluorescent effect so these are some of the uses of uv radiations as well as its harmfulness how is it so that and uh, as well as harmful effects also it has got in terms of skin what do we use we just use the sunscreen lotions which doesn't allow this uva radiations and b radiations in order to get inside the skin that is all about the uv rays coming to the next one that is u for use is done rich for radio waves man for microwaves in for infrared rays victoria for visible light used or uses for ultraviolet rays and finally it is x ray and the last is gamma rays x ray when i just tell about x ray what comes to your mind medical so what is that medical x ray x ray are the form of electromagnetic radiation which is similar to that of a visible light unlike light these x ray are having high energy which passes through the body and we can visualize the internal organs organs in the sense the internal skeleton of uh, any living thing can be observed by this ray because it passes through the human body so here medical x ray are used to generate the images of tissue and the structure which is inside the body which is helpful in detecting any of the problems within the body so here one type of x ray detector is photographic film but there are many other types of detectors which are used to produce digital images okay so here x ray you can see this is the form like when you pass it through any of your body it gives the image a clear pattern or the clear image of what defect is a human or a person is undergoing and it is visualized with the help of these x rays it is used either for the dental purpose or for the medical purpose either of the purpose this is used so it is detects bone fracture tumors abnormal masses pneumonia some other types of injuries calcifications foreign objects as well as the dental problems so these are the uses of x rays so x rays are used in x ray radiography which gives all these pictures so that is all about your x ray and x rays are the ones which cannot be used by the pregnant ladies the higher exposure of the x ray is very harmful to a person whereas usually the ct scanning is not preferred for the pregnant ladies but suppose if they prefer it for them it is like only above the abdomen and not below the abdomen as well as pelvis region so here ct scanning is the one which has got the presence of this x ray waves and these waves are the one which gets inside the body and it is very dangerous and harmful so long term exposure of these x rays are very very harmful to the body whereas a short term that is required in order to detect the defects in the human body so that is all about the x rays so coming to the gamma rays what are gamma rays gamma rays are the high energy photons what are gamma rays they are high energy photons so which are emitted by the nucleus and some radio nucleus for example if you just consider for the gamma rays like cobalt 60 iodine 131 etc these are used in food sterilization and medical instrument sterilization as well as iodine is the one which can cure the cancer of the thyroid gland so these are the things which are emission of the gamma radiations as well as it is used to diagnose the cancer so here you can see the scanning of the head is being taking place whereas the presence of tumor is over here so gamma radiations are the one which is used to cure all these that is a specific frequency the specific range of gamma rays are used in order for the treatment more that is a long term exposure of these rays is also hazardous to the human body okay so that is all about your gamma rays gamma photons are more energetic photons which just strikes through the hand and it just moves off or it just strikes through any of the flesh or a body because it's a high 
high energetic photons okay so because of which we can get to know the internal issues which are taking place as well as it destroys the cells it destroys the living tissue as well as cancerous cell when the cancer treatment is undergoing okay so that is all about your gamma rays so in today's class we have studied regarding the radio waves microwaves infrared rays visible light UV rays, X-rays as well as gamma rays. So these are the few electromagnetic spectrum wherein we had discussed today. Its merits and demerits are the ones which we had learned and what is it? Its origin, okay? So these are the things what we have studied in today's class. Let us on meet in the next class with the upcoming session of different other chapters. So here ends our electromagnetic waves. That is the chapter 8. Let us all meet in the next class. Until then, have a good day. Thank you.